Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to show you guys in real time how I take my crochet braids out because a lot of you guys have been saying to me that looks like a lot of work, it looks like so much effort, I bet you spend so much time taking it out. I really don't. I am a person that has zero patience, like none at all. So I'm not going to be spending three, four hours taking out hair when it already took me four hours to put it in, okay? So I'll show you guys in real time how I take it out and it only takes me 45 minutes, like even less time than that, just to take out the braids. A lot of you guys have also said like, why don't I just undo my cornrows and then the crochet braids would come out. Um, I don't like doing that. I have like a mixed texture hair, 4C and whatever else. I'm Caribbean, so um, I've got a mix of textures and I have hair that easily tangles. So I don't wanna keep knots in my hair and take out my cornrows and then the knots get tangled in my hair and starts breaking my hair like I, I have no time for that as I said zero patience so I take all the knots out first and then I undo the braids which makes it easier for me personally if you guys feel like you guys can take the knots out uh, while uncornering your hair then that's fine you do what works for you but this is my method this is what works for me and I find it super easy it's so much easier than taking down a weave um, I hate weaves because I can't feel my hair, I can't feel my scalp in between the braids and it just feels bulky and the same thing for wigs as well, like I don't, just no, it just doesn't work for me. Um, so yeah, let's get right into the video and I'll show you guys exactly what I do, as I said, in real time, um, sped up of course because it would take ages to show you 45 minutes of video, but yeah, let's get into it. So as you can see guys, I started at 4 minutes past 10, I already started cutting some of the hair before I recorded. I don't comb through the hair, I just literally grab my scissors and start chopping away, hacking away at the hair because I want it out as soon as possible. Usually for the back of the hair, the knots are quite large and I can feel them so I can just cut along the knots and pull them straight out. But sometimes it's quite difficult to get the knots out simply because I can't see them or I can't get my fingers in the right place to pull them out. So the rat tail comb comes in quite handy, I can just put the pick of the comb into the knot and pull it out. I don't start unbraiding my cornrows. Um, until I've taken out all the knots because I feel like if I start taking out all the knots right now then my natural hair will get really tangled and it'll be a lot more difficult to take it out remember I've had these in for two months so I've obviously have a lot of growth and I also have a lot of shedded hair that's in my cornrows so that I'll have to deal with after when you do this for a while Looking down like that into the mirror gives you a kink in the neck, so I'm just stretching it out right here. You'll see me do that a few times. <laughs> Remember that I've got those anchor braids that are just lying underneath the braid. So I have to be careful when I'm taking them out not to cut my anchor braid off. So make sure you're very careful when you're taking out your anchor braids and you know exactly where they are so you do not cut your hair because you will not be happy. My edges might look like they're quite pulled away from the cornrows in the front, but believe me, I have no damage to my hair at all. And you'll be able to see that once I take out all the cornrows. It's just that my hair's a bit coily in the front, especially because it hasn't been combed out. So all the braids are out now, I just make sure that I have no more knots in the hair. And it took me 48 minutes to take this hair out. I finished at 10.52. I have no damage to my hair. My edges are full and fine. And now I'm off to give my hair a good wash. Okay guys, so that was it. Basically that's how I take them out. That's everything that I do in one go so <laughs> you guys know i've had the braids in for two months so you need to have a really good wash process to make sure that you don't tangle your hair i'll show you guys my wash routine in another video but in the meantime you guys thank you so much for watching and of course don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i love you guys mwah, mwah, mwah. bye